that good. You lied. And I died. What's up everyone, I had a chance to check out It 2 last night and I wanted to give some of my views and thoughts about the movie, my likes and dislikes, but just a heads up, there will be spoilers in this review, so if you don't want to know anything about the movie and haven't seen it out yet, click back and check it out after you see it. Alright, let's get to it. Now, I'm a person that likes to get close to the source material, and I believe there are some aspects of this movie that actually were close to the book. The beginning where the boyfriend of a couple gets murdered or thrown over the bridge and is eventually killed by Pennywise is actually a premise to Pennywise appearing again in the second part of the book when they're adults. I actually do like the fact that they included Richie Tozer and his experience with the Paul Bunyan character as he was a kid that scared him. And they actually filmed that part and actually portrayed it in this part of the movie, which is actually pretty interesting. Another thing I really, really enjoyed about this movie was the casting of characters. Now, Bill Hader playing Richie Tozer was excellent. The, he had a great dialogue for the most part, great singers. Uh, it was a very, very good way of seeing him do a different role because we're known for Bill Hader being a more of a comedian. And although he plays a comedian, he had to be serious in this role. And the funny part about that was he actually had a hard time acting scared because most of his natural reaction was to smile when he was scared. So he actually pulled it off very great. His also his interactions with Eddie in the movie are very, very funny. So it keeps the movie moving along pretty well. Another great aspect of the movie is again, the performance by Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise the Clown. Again, he gives his own little turn or his own trend to the clown. He doesn't try to go off the Pennywise of Tim Curry and actually develops more off his character in the first movie, which I thought was played very well. Another thing I really liked about this movie was that it actually paid some homage to Stephen King and actually made fun of him with him actually making a cameo in it. Now Stephen King is known for making great books and stories but a lot of his endings are pretty much hated by some of his uh, followers or people that read his books. They say he has great material but the ending is always something that falls short. And this is something that's a reoccurring thing within the, book, the movie as Bill Devereaux played by James McAvoy is constantly reminded that his endings suck, which is kind of funny. And even Stephen King says this part in his cameo that he read his book and the ending was really bad. So I thought that was a pretty nice little homage to him and pretty funny that he made fun of himself in it. And it's always, always good to see the, uh, the original writer of the movie to be in there. Now, one of the things I didn't like about this movie was the bad dialogue between characters. I did say that some of the good, there was good dialogue and corroboratory between Bill Hader and James Ransom, who played Eddie. They went off each other really, really well. But there's also a lot of cheesy dialogue. The Ben Handsome character has very cheesy dialogue with Beverly, and Beverly has very cheesy dialogue with Bill. And in reality, I love James McAvoy as an actor. I think he's a great actor, but I don't really think he added anything to the character of Bill there's nothing really developed here. It's nothing that's developed in the book. I think everything was done in the previous movie and he's kind of just trying to find his way through this movie, at least in my opinion. Another thing I didn't really like about this movie was that it really strayed away from the book in several ways. Now, I know in the beginning I said that it was close in certain aspects, which it was, but with the ritual of Chud, which is the main uh, storyline in this movie to get defeat Pennywise, they actually have it happen when they're adults now this ritual happened when they were children in the hut that ben built well in this movie they're doing it as adults with mike hamlin being the person that's leading the way and to me it's kind of weird though even though mike was the person that stood behind in the book and called them all back he never actually got to fight pennywise at the end due to him being stabbed by um henry bowers and that's another thing too. Henry Bowers gets killed by Richie in this movie, which makes totally no sense. But the a character of Mike Hamlin is actually expanded more in here. Maybe they wanted to add him due to the ritual being in here, but I think it was kind of straying away from the book material and the source material. And also there's no turtle if we're gonna go with the ritual. We should have the turtle in it, which most hardcore fans will know what I'm talking about. But that was one of the things that really, really kind of threw me off about the movie. I think it was more 
trying to force storylines. They're not really the most development of characters like they did the previous time. They didn't take time to nurture them. And that was kind of surprising because the movie is two hours and 40 minutes long. And the kids actually played great flashback parts. It just wasn't the development that you want to see, in my opinion. Um, another just take food for thought. I love Mike Hamlin as a character. I really liked the Tim Reed portrayal. Um, the character, that, the play, actor that portrayed him in this movie was actually pretty well. Um, Isaiah Mustafa, Mustafa was actually very well as portraying him, but it wasn't the kind of Mike Hamlin I wanted. He seemed more of a desperate man, and I understand what the director was going for, but I prefer the person that was there to call them back as Tim Reed portrayed. And I don't know a lot of people that would share that opinion. But anyway, those are my thoughts upon the movie. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was bad. I just think the first one was better. And I wish it was stuck closer to the source material. But thanks anyway for listening to me rant on today. And have a great rest of your day.